Drag him down there. There's a few abs there. She's an Australian musical treasure with a career spanning four decades, has released 22 albums and has had countless chart-topping hits and multi-platinum albums and is an ARIA Award winner as well. Now in Auckland to star in the incredible musical um, Cabaret, come lots of other things, Velvet. Please welcome to the cafe, Marsha Hines. Yes! Wow. Thank you. It's very nice to be here. That looks so spectacular. I want to talk more about that in a minute. Um, first, though, you've had quite a remarkable career, haven't you? Lots of firsts. So far, so good, yes. Including <laughs> yeah. um, you were the youngest person to star in here, and you were Correct. pregnant at the time as well. I was, yes. So how old were you? 16. Wow. Had the baby at 17. Gosh. I oh. do not condone teenage pregnancy. Let me just start there, because a baby can't have a baby. Mm. You get me? I so, hear you. So I grew up quick. Yeah. I bet you did. Yes. But no regrets, I would imagine. Absolutely yeah. none. No, no. no, and I had a great support system, and I think that's what it's really all about. Okay, now look, another first. Um, one of the first black women and Jesus Christ superstars. The first true? black woman to ever do Jesus Christ superstars. That's incredible, isn't yes. it? Because, you know, now when I think of that role, that's how I think of it. So you kind of defined that. It was pretty people. cool, but that was because um, the man that brought me to Australia originally was Harry M. Miller, and he was my guardian until I was 21. And so I remember seeing Jesus Christ Superstar thinking, whoa, it's the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. And I said, Harry, can I do it? He went, nah, <laughs> because you're still in hair. And then he <laughs> called me after hair closed and said, would you like to play Mary? I said, let me think. Yes. yes. <laughs> wow. He was quite an extraordinary man, wasn't he? Yes, he still is. I, I visit him. Um, he's in a home now, but I visit him quite regularly, yeah. Wow. And, you know, one of the um, Australia's most brilliant recording artists, can you remember the first time you actually got on stage and sang? Can you remember what that mm -hmm. was? I was about nine, and it was for a church function. And my mother said, would you sing this song for me? It was a mother and daughter's banquet. She said, would you sing this song for me? And I said, of course. And um, all I remember is I retained the song, and I sang with the record. And I just remember looking at everybody's shoes. I didn't look up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look up once. Now tell us about Velvet. This sounds really, I've been watching some clips of it. It sounds quite extraordinary. What's the story? Um, the story is, OK, the reason it's called Velvet, I've got to tell people this, is because it's about the velvet rope, you know? It's based loosely on Studio 54. Right. And there was a velvet rope, I believe, that you were either on the right side of or the, or the wrong side of. Oh, we would have been on the wrong side. <laughs> no, 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 you would have gotten in. And so um, th that's why it's called Velvet. So it's Studio 54, a young guy walks into this incredible environment and he's not sure who he is or what he wants to do and he encounters some of the people you just saw on that film. And um, as he encounters them, I watch. And I kind of, kind of like a fairy godmother. But I don't tell him what to do, but he finds himself in the end, so. It's a brilliant concept. You've got a bit of everything going on there. What's one of your favorite acts? In the show? In the show. Oh, it would have to be um, Craig, the, the hula guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's fun. How many hula hoops does he have? I don't know. I've never counted. But you know, when, when I knew he was going to be in the show, I thought, I'm going to get him to teach me to do the hula hoop. And how's it going? Too embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, it's hard I'm to too get shy. one going around. I'm too shy. And you think you've you got know, it going, and then you realise that you really have it all. But he's not good. He's brilliant. He's considered one of the most um, accomplished and the best hula people in the world. Gosh. And so also a great disco soundtrack. So what are some of the good disco hits we're going to hear? Oh, uh, look, um, there's some great Earth, Wind and Fire. I get to sing a great song called Never Knew Love Like This Before. I get to sing one of my hit hits called You. Um, look, it just doesn't stop. It's, it's a great show, and I think right now the world is relatively sad, mm. and we need some humor and happiness and, and bad fashion. Which, <laughs> <laughs> which was, fashion, you know, oh, when you, you, think, think you think about the disco era, we, we sort of tweaked it a bit, but when you think about the disco era, there was some pretty bad fashion, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, you gotta admit. I still can't get my head around flares, so it's just not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> but looking at the shots that we can see on the telly now, clearly you're going to be entertained, but you've got some brilliant music. I heard you sigh when you saw those women. <laughs> <laughs>
There's some serious eye candy, female and male, you guys need to know. Yeah. Well, no, that's good. And, of course, you know, you, I mean, you were the queen of Australia's pop back in the 70s, and now, you know, here you are on the stage in New Zealand and, and showing off everything that you've got with your troupe for the rest of New Zealand. So I really appreciate it. We Thank look you so forward much. to it. We really do. Um, and we hope everybody comes to see it because it's a joyous time indeed. It sounds fantastic. Yeah. We all need a bit more joy. Thank you so much for you joining us. You're more welcome. Thank you for your time. Velvet is playing as part of the Auckland Live International Cabaret season and Christchurch Arts Festival from September the 6th to the October the 1st. For more details, you can go to aucklandlive.co.nz.